Okay, IED. In activity 2.2.2, visual analysis, they ask us to do some practice. And this practice that we're going to do, we're going to practice it together using a uh, something besides what the example product is. If you look on the screen, it says that the example product is a carabiner pin. We're actually going to be disassembling this in class as one of our larger projects. So I really don't want to use this one as the visual analysis. I want you all to worry about that one later. Uh, so we're going to try something else as practice together. What we're going to be practicing on is we're going to select a uh, easy uh, part or an easy piece. So you know it says receive the product or object from study from your teacher. If you're at home, if you're digital, you can do whatever object you want to pick from. You do not have to do the one that we're doing. I'm going to go ahead and use an example of a USB stick, and that's going to be the one that we're going to use. Um, so we're going to just take a picture of a USB stick. Let's see if I can actually find it. Nope, nope, just kidding. Is that it? There we go. Okay, so we're just going to do like a regular Google search and uh, pull up different USB sticks. We're going to look at this one on the right side in particular, specifically looking at the uh, verbatim USB stick. Okay, and we're going to look at the visual design elements of this USB as we continue to go along. And in order to help us out, uh, I've created a spreadsheet that is similar to the matrix that's on the website, but this one you can actually just type straight into as a Google Sheet, so it makes it easier to turn in. And let me go ahead and show you a couple of other good things about it as well, too. Uh, if you look at it at the top, we have the uh, Elements of design, lines, colors, values, shape, form, space, and texture. And if you forget what these are, I put notes up at the top so that you can actually see specifically what they are. This lesson is particularly overwhelming in, in the amount of definitions that you have to try to remember. And some of them make sense, like everybody's like, oh, I know what a line is. But there's several different types of lines. So, you know, I, I try to make sure that you'll have a little bit of extra ability to, to see and reference what's going on here, because the point should not necessarily be on memorizing the elements of the design or the principles of the design. The emphasis should be on looking at an object and seeing what the design factors are. So I want you all to spend more time looking at the object and trying to interpret the object rather than actually trying to remember all of this stuff. So like balance, emphasis, um, you know, used to draw attention to one area, the contrast and stuff like that. Uh, a lot, and, and one of the things to kind of think about this is that every single one of these elements of design, so line, color, value, shape, form, space, texture, can indicate balance, but you don't have to fill in every single part of this matrix itself because only some things are going to stand out in the design itself. So, like, for example, when you're talking about space, you're normally talking about, like, large areas or, or buildings inside. So you're not like, like rooms is what you're talking about there. So you don't necessarily have to fill in every single one of these. You just have to kind of fill out what actually seems to fit inside the section. So I'm going to try to split this screen so that we can have one side and then the other side. So we can have our USB stick right here. All right. So I'm going to just specifically focus on this green one. And I'm going to try to look and see what's going on here. So uh, what I would do is I would take this sheet and I would go ahead and I would just start filling out the sheet inside on spaces where I think that we would actually have, you know, the correct design elements. So I'm going to look at this and I'm going to say, all right, so balance, emphasis, contrast, and rhythm. Let's see. Um, there's not really color balance or, or value balance here. Balance is dealing with like symmetrical or asymmetrical or radial symmetry. So I'm going to say that, you know, if I, if I look at this and I draw a line down at vertically, there is some symmetry here. So I would say that the lines are symmetrical. And let's see here. There is some emphasis, but the emphasis is not on the lines. I would say the emphasis is on the color itself. So the color, I would say that the green um, provides emphasis uh, compared to the metal USB input. Okay, and then um, let's see here. Values, remember that's dealing with like shading and stuff like that. There is some in this diagram, there is some values. 
because uh, you can see that there's a little bit of a light and a little bit of a darkness here. Uh, the shape, the form, okay, because remember, shape is a two-dimensional representation, and the form is a 3D volume or solid. So if there are anything, it's like the balance, um, let's see here, balance and form, let's see, the, the form is, you know, let's see, does it actually provide, it is, like, yeah, I would say so, the actual 3D object is symmetrical in and of itself, okay, and the shape of the 2D, if you were to look at it from the top view, you would see a square, so I would probably say that both of these would be symmetrical, so I would go ahead and just type in symmetrical for both of these seems to me um now keep in mind notice i'm skipping some parts so like the color the color symmetry i didn't really include because i don't think there really is color symmetry and then some people would be like well wait a minute isn't one side colored and the other side not and it's not symmetrical so wouldn't the color provide an asymmetrical value and the answer is well i, I mean yeah you probably could some of these answers are are uh, a, a bit um what's the word for it hmm. um trying to think of the word that's it's um subjective that's what it is a lot of these are subjective so you can uh not everybody's going to have the same design matrix sheet but the point is is that you, you just need to try to use this to practice trying to get some information about the object itself this is a visual analysis i would definitely say looking at this that there is contrast and the contrast is between the colors so the uh you know i could probably just say the exact same thing uh so i would say you know contrast between plastic part and metal part okay um in this case there is actually a little bit of rhythm here uh and the rhythm is actually in the shape itself so i would actually say that since these are two squares that repeat themselves i would probably write that in the shape um instead of the form area so uh my let's see here i think this is the right one yeah okay so i say uh, repeated squares i would put in the shape okay and then for you know things like uh unity and economy unity really only deals with a uh, larger sections like if you're dealing with a, a large uh, design not necessarily just an object by itself uh, because this uses consistent design elements and the economy it looks fairly straightforward so less is more there's not a whole lot of curves so the emphasis is on the actual point itself so i would say that uh, i would write stuff in economy and i would write stuff in economy in the form section uh, because it looks like a very simple shape there's it's not overly busy so i would say that um, it mainly just included what it needed to include and that was it i'm going to provide a link to this sheet down at the bottom of the in the comment section so that anybody that wants to use this for practice can totally use it um, and hopefully it helps you guys out in doing some of the ied stuff especially the visual analysis part uh, it works really great. Like I love to see this sheet whenever people use their their projects on the um, right after the brainstorming session to go through like the visual the visual analysis of an object. Uh, it, it's it, it's really good and it's a really neat way to try to include all of this stuff without having to remember every single part of it. So you guys have a great day and we will talk later.